Greetings, greetings, greetings to one and all. Greetings to my peeps, Dumelang, Otong, Tobela, Sangonani, Mulueni, Dumachironi, to you. And greetings to my peeps on the other, on this other side of the pond, as they say. Um, I'm your host. Welcome to Bukhosukupe, and my name is Basimani Bukhopani, aka Maitiana Pe. And it definitely has been a long time since we've made a video presentation. Today we bring you another exciting presentation, something that you've never heard of before. Yes, the information that you'll find out there on this particular subject, you will hit a brick wall because you will not find the origins of the term paper. Everything else is just speculation. There's no supporting evidence. But for the first time, here on this channel, on Bukhosikuku, you will get to know about the origins of the term paper. With that said, I believe that I owe you an explanation. Why is it that I have been absent? Yes, uh, for you know, for the past two months, um, or even before that, we were getting ready, me and my tribe, to relocate to a new state. And for that reason, I couldn't, you know, bring you content as regularly as I wanted to. And during that process of relocation, it took, of course, longer than we anticipated. And I couldn't access my YouTube account. And when I finally had the opportunity once we moved into our new home, uh, had the opportunity to access the YouTube account. YouTube decided that they were asking for my urine sample, for my DNA, for the iris and the fingerprints, and of course the vaccine passport, just to access the, you know, um, the YouTube account. And I did not have, unfortunately, uh, or I no longer had the tool that I use for verification in order to access the account. Okay. It's kind of stupid how they protect these accounts as if it's some kind of a vault with, um, you know, gold, diamonds or something, you know. Um, so, for that matter, it took me a long time to access this and I was locked out. I had to figure out a way to get back into it, and I finally did, um, and here we are. And with that said, I also would like to welcome those you know, who are new, who are newly subscribed to our channel. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you're seeing our content for the first time. And if you've been here with us and you're, or you're just joining us, Please click that notification button so that you do not miss out on what we bring you. With that said, we are going to jump right into the subject of our discussion for today. It's going to be brief, but packed full of any, you know, good information that you'll come out knowing the origins of the term paper. Here we go. The history of paper, Chinese origins. Historical sources credit the invention of paper to Sai Lung, a dignitary serving the Imperial Chinese court who, in AD 105, began producing, produ producing sheets of paper from scraps of old rags, tree bark, and fishing nets. The Chinese guarded the secret of paper making jealously for many centuries until in the 6th century, the invention was brought to Japan by Buddhist monk Dam Jin. The Japanese immediately learned paper making techniques and began using pulp derived from mulberry bark to produce this precious material themselves. The source is right there, I provided it. Um, now, onto the etymology of this word, paper. It comes from the Middle English paper, P-A-P-E-R, borrowed from the Anglo-Norman 
paper or papir from Latin papyrus from ancient Greek papyrus and there's a source I provided it and the second um, source from Adam online says papyrus noun late 14th century papyrus from Latin papyrus the paper plant also the paper made from it from Greek papyrus any plant of the paper plant genus a loan word of unknown origin ain't that interesting make a note of that a loan word of unknown origin often said to be Egyptian hmm and of course there is no source for that claim or even supporting evidence hmm. can we provide that here Bohos, Bohos hmm. I certainly think that we can the classically correct plural is papyri a type of rush or reed formerly abundant on mushy river banks in Egypt Palestine etc it afforded the ancient Egyptians a convenient and inexpensive writing surface so the this you know deceptive um, historical narratives like here, they had to throw in the word uh, Palestine or the name Palestine, you know, which, which will of course include the Levant, as if the area of the Levant has something to do with, um, you know, the, the founding of or the discovery of, you know, a papyrus making process. Okay, and further on. You know, stating that the Egyptians used, you know, um, used a convenient, it was convenient for the Egyptians and it was inexpensive. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go on, nevertheless. If paper is of aging origin, we do now the logical analysis. If paper is of Asian origin, why not use the Chinese term Xi? Xi. G, not Xi Jinping, but Xi, this is paper. After all, Chinese are alleged originators. Why use a Latin term which ultimately derived from Greek and whose origin remains unknown? So where did the word papyrus come from? Is it Egyptian or is it unknown? The historical narrative seems to suggest that paper was unknown to the ancient Egyptians in surrounding areas before AD 105. Yes, that's the historical narrative. You see, paper came to the Middle East or Levant region through the Arabs, right? The Arabs who brought it into Europe, okay? And of course, uh, how did the Arabs get it? It was through some Asian man who traveled to these regions. Okay? And he was captured and somehow divulged the secret of making paper. Hmm. Now, furthermore, the notion that Egyptians used an inexpensive method to make papyrus suggests that they were poor or couldn't afford other methods of production. And that's something. Moving on, clues in the making process. So let's go to the making process to see if they can tell us something about what is the, you know, how the name originated. The ancient Egyptians used the stem of the papyrus plant to make sails, cloths, mats, cords, and above all paper. Paper made from papyrus was the chief writing material in ancient Egypt. Was, was adopted by the Greeks and was used extensively in the Roman Empire. It was used not only for the production of books in roll or scroll form, but also for the correspondence and legal documents. Pliny, or Pliny the Elder, gave an account of the manufacture of paper from papyrus. 
the fibrous layers within the stem of the plant were removed and a number of these longitudinal strips were placed side by side and then crossed at right angles with another set of strips. The two layers formed a sheet, which was then dampened and pressed. Upon drying, the glue-like set of the plant acted as an adhesive and cemented the layers together. The sheet was finally hammered and dried in the sun. Make a note of that. The paper thus formed was pure white in color and if well made was free of spots, stains or other defects. The source I provide right here. Okay, moving on. Origins of the word paper and ultimately papyrus. Palata is the process of drying something in the sun while papalala means to be a little or extremely dry in Setswana Susuki. The word papalala and papalata can be expressed as paparata and paparata or Paparisa, without altering the meaning. Papara is a word and sound expression used in Setswana Susutu to denote a crackling noise made by dry material or the flapping wings of small insect, insects. Right? This is the uniqueness that our languages have. The word papalala means to be a little dry or very dry as the ground, the cloth, etc. This definition would include even the papyrus plant after being prepared for making paper. The process, as already indicated, included drying in the sun, paparata or paparisa. The one engaging in the process would be called mupaparisi or mupaparati. Wow. Note that paparazzi is similar to the word paparazzi, Italian slang for buzzing mosquito. It should be noted, however, that this is never used to refer to dryness of ground, paper, cloth, etc., like it is used in Situana Sasutu. Both words have a connection to crackling sound. So now, what is our conclusion? Paparisi, paparisa, the word. We conclude that the term paper derives from Latin papyrus, the paper plant, also the paper made from it, from Greek papyrus, ultimately the Greek deriving from paparata or paparisa. It's a sort of strong word which means to try something by means of sunlight. This conclusion is supported by the fact that papyrus production included sun drying and that it makes a crackling sound, papara, which word retains the root for its name. Ladies and gentlemen, family, you have heard it here for the first time concerning the origin of the word paper and papyrus. Right here, boom. Bukotsipute doing it yet again. Thank you. And we will see you again on the other side with uh, yet another great content.